21 sports bra haul. I went to Forever 21 and I got eight different sports bras. I got six different sports bras. Two of them I got two pair, two colors in. And I wanted to do this review because there's this theme kind of growing on my page of like small boobs, which <laughs> I mean, that's just a personal life theme for me, seeing as that I have small boobs. And I talked about this in my last video, but after like a really long time of planning to get implants and almost going through with it, I decided to not to. So I have been going through some emotional turmoil after the fact of kind of like letting go of the future body that I thought I would have with these like big old titties or whatever. And now I'm just kind of trying to settle into the body that I do have already and be very happy and confident with it, which takes a lot. So because I am someone who absolutely hates going into Victoria's Secret because every bra there is designed for someone who is either a B or a double D, like in that range. Everybody says that people who have small boobs get the cute bras, but if you have no boobs, then bras just make you want to cry because there's all this gapping and I hate it. So, went into Victoria's Secret the other day, wanted to cry, left, and then I went into Forever 21 and I realized I love sports bras. I wear sports bras every day, all day, or I wear nothing but like the little silicone nipple pads. And that's one of the pros to being small chested. So I went and I got a bunch of sports bras and I wanted to talk about them because they make me feel awesome. I wear them day to day, not just in the gym. I wear them as actual like crop tops. So we're just going to dive into the review now. The first one I got was this beautiful bright red one. I have not been a fan of red until quite recently. And this one really like stuck out to me. A lot of activewear these days is coming out in these bolder, brighter colors of reds and blues. We still have some pastels here and there, but I think the bright colors are kind of coming back in for a sec. And Forever 21's activewear range has a ton of neutrals, but a ton of these solid bright colors as well. And I'm definitely a fan of this one. So in terms of padding, this definitely has padding in it. Um, the pads are removable, but I think that they did a really good job in this bra specifically with the padding. Um, it kind of shapes me out on the top. I think gives me more of an illusion of a chest, um, which I do like in some sports bras, don't like in the others, but I really like it in this one. I think the padding works well. You can remove it if you want to, but I think it like shapes me out perfectly. I got that one in, I think this is an extra small. Yeah, I got this one in an extra small. Um, I got half of them are these little regular sports bras and like the other half of them are more of a crop top and in terms of like comfortability that one is a little bit snug on me if you are between sizes I would size up um, but I still find it to be pretty comfortable just more for a workout I wouldn't really want to wear it all day because it does fit kind of tight um, but still pretty comfortable and fun fact I always test my sports bras in the dressing room by putting them on over my feet and pulling them up and then putting my arms in it because if I'm wearing makeup that day then putting it over my head half the time I'm just gonna fuck it up so that one passes the test of getting it up over my butt my butt's not massive but like it's you know a good size um, but if you're someone who obviously has like a little more junk in the trunk or like a thicker waist then that might not work out for you but it passed the test for me um, and I think you know it's just it's a really great basic cute little detailed sports bra, you know? I think this is one of those ones that's a must have. And then all of the sports bras that I bought are gonna be between 10 and 14 or $15. I'm pretty sure this one was $12.90. So super, super affordable for such like a good basic staple sports bra. The next one I got was this little tan one. And I did take the padding out of this one because I didn't think that it went super well in the bra. I think the shape of it looked a little bit funky and disformed my chest. So um, I took the padding out of it, but it does come with padding if you want to keep it in. Um, because I did take the padding out, it is a little bit, the fabric is thin enough that you kind of see nips. Not like see the nip, but you see the shape of the nip. It's nippy. I don't know. That's just the term I'm going to use to describe it. Um, I really like the mesh detailing here. You can always wear little like silicone nip covers if you are really that concerned about it, but recently I've just been very like, I don't know, I'm, I'm coming into my own and I feel very comfortable with just like nips of blazing or whatever. <laughs> nice neutral basic tan color. The straps are really thin, so not like a ton of support or anything, but I mean, if you're someone who can take the padding out of your sports bra and you are flat chested, then like you're not usually too worried about having super thick straps for support because these aren't going anywhere. Um, I got this one in a small, I think. Let me check. Yeah, I did get this one in a small. So 
I think that this one was just a little bit more comfortable around my lats. I don't have massive lats, but they are getting bigger as I am working out my back more and more. I'm doing a lot more pull-ups, so this one's just a little bit more comfortable um, in the back area. So just it's a little bit more gently on your side. And then in terms of comfortability, this one's super comfortable. I could probably sleep in this one. Um, and then again, it's super easy to just like pull up um, or step into if that's something that you're interested in doing. The straps don't really dig into your shoulders or anything. They're adjustable. So super basic, again, basic sports bra, but I think it was really comfortable. And I think if you get it in different colors too, it can easily be worn as like kind of a cute crop top just because this band is thicker and it gives the illusion of like a little bit more bra. Third one is another basic black sports bra but there is some detailing here that kind of spices it up just a bit. What I really like about this one as well is the padding in it. Um, I did keep the padding in it and it is a very nice shape. You don't see the imprints of it or anything when you have it on. And again, like the red one, it kind of shapes me out on top. Usually I'm not a fan of anything that has a deep plunging neck because to me that usually just like accentuates the fact that I don't have cleavage. But I think that this kind of pushes me into the right places um, and goes down to the right point that I just, it, I think it's kind of cute. I mean, because I am flat, you know, there's like a lot of bare chest to show uh, without making it seem too much like boobies in your face. Granted, I, if I had boobies, I would just put boobies in your face, but um, I, I don't know, I feel really like, I feel really sexy in this bra. I think it's like very flattering on my body type and like a flat chest body type and probably like if you got boobies, I bet this would look hot. Um, either way, uh, I got this in a size small as well. I think I could maybe size down into an extra small, but again, I like it because I can kind of pull it down a little bit farther so that my lats have room to breathe. I don't know, if you don't like that, if you like to be like up and tight and secure, you could probably size down in this. Okay, now moving on to the crop tops. This one, I was so excited about when I found it just because the detailing on the side here is really cool. This does fit more like a crop top. I think you could even wear it just as a shirt. Most of the crop top ones that I bought, I think you could wear as a shirt. Um, there's no padding in it or anything, uh, but it's very, it's very spandexy, very tight and secure. So like if you are someone with a bigger chest, I feel like the tightness of it would kind of keep you locked and loaded without having any padding or underwire. Because the straps are, are more like, you know, part of the actual crop top and not just like little skinny spaghetti straps, it does feel very secure. I got this one in an extra small. I think maybe it could size up to a small. The only thing that I feel like could be uncomfortable is this band right here is very tight band on the bottom. Um, it is like a, an elastic band so it does very much like sit right there on your rib cage. Um, so if you're a little bit boxier, I'm very straight down, so some days it is kind of uncomfortable. There's a fly, good life. Why are you here? I got pretty much the same exact thing, I realize now, um, just in a slightly different material in both a lilac and a gray. Same exact cut of the top, but this is more of a cotton material, whereas that's more of a spandex and feels more like workout clothing. Um, so these ones are much easier to wear, I think, as a shirt, if you want to wear it as a shirt. I got them both an extra small as well. Um, and the band here is a little bit more visible. You can kind of see where it is in the elastic band. I think with the cotton ones, they probably show sweat a little bit more if you're working out with them in the gym. Also, if you're someone who likes to wear, like actually really needs to wear a sports bra under a crop top, this could probably work as a crop top over a sports bra too. It's just a lot of bandage on the bottom here. So I just wear it as is. If you're really conscious about like the nips, <laughs> showing through. You can wear little silicone pads underneath them. These ones, because they are more cotton, do show that a little bit more. I'm comfortable with it, like I said, kind of whatever about it. Um, but I do really, really, really like the material of these. I think they're really, really soft and comfortable and very versatile. And they do sell them in the active wear line. So, I mean, they are meant to be working out in, even if they do kind of look and feel like a crop top, like just a regular shirt. And last, but certainly not least, these incredible, incredible cropped camis. They call them cropped camis, but um, I really think that they are just like an elongated sports bra. They are this ribbed material, and I got them in both lilac and white. They're just incredibly 
well constructed. I feel like they're a very nice thick material. They're kind of, I think they're double lined. They're double, yeah, it's doubled up. This material is doubled up. And that's what gives it much more of that compression sports bra feel. Um, because it is a lighter color, you get a little bit of the nip going on as well, but just, you know, deal with it. I don't know. <laughs> but in the white, it's a little bit more subtle. I feel like when I put these on, I kind of have to like adjust where I want my, my nips to sit just because um, when you put it on it just lays so flat and compressed that they're just gonna stay wherever they are so if like you're a little bit wonky they'll just kind of stay that way so I find myself kind of adjusting when I first put the shirt on but I don't know I think the material is just incredible it's exactly what I want in a sports bra slash crop top I really like the high neck of it this one I got in a small and I think it's because with this style they only offer the small medium large kind of similar to their seamless leggings range they only have small medium large maybe they have extra large in that but I think it's just those three sizes because they're meant to be like incredibly stretchy with these ones and the other crop top ones definitely they don't give me the illusion of a more shapely bust whereas like the first three sports bras or the two of the first three kind of do so I can go either way with them I either want to like have a nice shape or I want to be completely fat completely compressed I don't know where I get that from or why but like I just kind of like how this makes me feel very streamlined and very just like happy and confident in my body. I think whatever Forever 21 is doing right now is like really, really impressive. These ones were only $10.90. The last two, these ones were only $10.90, which is incredible. I don't know how long they're going to last. I mean, one of them does already have like a thread coming out right here, so whatever. Um, but everything in that like 10 to $15 range for stuff that I will wear every day that I'm really happy to be wearing, I think is definitely worth it. Especially when I'm so used to going through so much emotional turmoil just trying to find tops like and sports bras and stuff that make me happy in the body that I have. So these are my suggestions right now. They're all gonna be online. I'm gonna link them all in the description box below. Super easy to find. Um, especially if you go into the store and you want to try some things on, they're going to be there because I think this line just launched or they, all these new additions just launched. So go into Forever 21 if you have one near you, likely you do. If you want to just order them online, super easy to order online. I wish Forever 21 would sponsor me, but we could dream. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions for other brands or other sports bras that you use that you really, really love, feel free to leave them in the comments for other girls to find. I'm also probably going to go check those out. I really appreciate all the likes, all the support, all the interaction that I get here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. All the support feels really incredible. I think I'm like 10 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is just, it's really cool. I can't believe that there's 1,000 people out there who are like mildly interested in what I have to say. As always, appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.